delivered the water thanks. Whatever trees we are going to plant will survive. We'll gloom sakura uh, flowers. I don't know, but uh, I like to I like to uh, bloom these sakura flowers during my tenure of next four years time. I don't know how how much this possible. So so this is my this is my commitment. But uh, if the nature permits, flowers will be bloomed within next four years. But uh, I assured His Excellency, the Japanese ambassador, that. No sakura tree will die here. That's my, that's my assurance to you. However, I request Annapurna Plantation Nursery as well as other concerned people to supply us more sakuras so that we are going to plant here and there. Okay? In, uh, in, one, of the, in one of the programs, I said that in one of the programs, I, 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 I mentioned that one of the ministers of Nepal said that if the federal government plants trees, out of 100, 90 die. If Lalitpur Metropolitan plant 100 trees, out of 100, 90 survive. So in this case, we will make it survive all 50. This is my commitment to all of you. Okay, I don't need to tell you more things because we are doing our level best efforts in order to make Lalitpur metropolitan city a green city. In this case, we are doing our level best endeavors in order to our efforts. So I request all of you to help us from nine different angles, okay? So that this Lalitpur metropolitan city, you will find this greenery, livable city in Nepal. So definitely next, next Sakura plantation program is going to happen very soon. I don't know whether you are going to provide us more sakura trees or not please provide madam so that we will we will manage this during the monsoon time okay okay thank you so much for your uh, efforts and uh, we will invite you again next time to plant sakura trees not here in other places living more than 1000 years the other thing is its peach fukushima is a peach production uh, agriculture prefecture. So every year, uh, very cute, pretty, beautiful girls are selected as Miss Peach for the promotion of the peach, Fukushima peach selling. So if my male friends at the junior high or high school, if he says, oh, my girlfriend is Miss Peach, He's very proud of it, and we are very envious. Unfortunately, my wife is not Miss Peach. <laughs> anyway, is a symbol of the connection between Japan and Nepal. An academic theory says that uh, Sakura originated in Nepal and spread to China and beyond. Japan. In 1967, when Crown Prince Birendra Bill Bikram Shah was a student at the Tokyo University, he was given sakura from the people of Atami City. In return, he sent Himalayan sakura to Atami. More than 50 years later, Japanese people enjoy the beauty of Himalayan sakura in Atami every year. In 2006, the year of the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relationship between the Japan and Nepal, Juan kindly planted sakura at several sites in the Kataman's Valley. And today, 
in celebration of the Juan's 50th anniversary, 70 new sakura trees and 40 peach trees will be planted here by the Bagmat Bridge. And you all know, the Bagmat Bridge was built about 30 years ago with the assistance of Japanese government. So here we have a lot to say about the connection between Japan and Nepal. At all the more, we have the gracious presence of the uh, respected mayor of Laritapur, Mr. Chinbu Maharajan, today. As I said last week, by planting sakura, we hope we can add one more beauty to this beautiful city of Laritapur. I'm encouraged by Mr. Mayor's words for the assurance of a good care. I believe that in the year of Juan's 60th anniversary, the sakura we plant today will be in bloom. There, the people of Kataman Valley will be enjoying the beauty of sakura and maybe having a hanami picnic. Very important program to plant sakura in the, in the uh, corner of, in the vicinity of uh, Holy River, our very Holy River, uh, Bagmati, uh, Bagmati. So, uh, in this occasion, uh, uh, many of our friends have contributed financially uh, and uh, uh, we are able to uh, plant, bring uh, this sakura and also Bar Barwa's uh, uh, son has also uh, bring some uh, flowering piece also and we are also planting the, that uh, flowering piece also uh, in the uh, bank of uh, Bagmati River. So, in this way, uh, today we are planting about uh, uh, 70 sakura and uh, uh, 15 uh, flowering peas uh, in the bank of uh, this river. Uh, all those sakuras are from uh, Andapuna Biotech Laboratory uh, in which uh, Dr. Vijay Pante has uh, uh, done tissue culture and uh, she has brought this uh, new technique uh, of sakura in Nepal which is very successfully uh, done, this uh, tissue uh, uh, culture. And so we hope that the sakura will uh, soon take the root in the soil of this Lalitpur district. It was a sakura plant. That was two sakura plant. One is planted in my in our home, and one is planted in our university. And lots of friends started asking, how can we get the sakura from Japan? So we uh, we produce this sakura in Arnapurna Research Center. I would like to thank Dr. Pant for. Uh, the concept of establishment of Annapurna Research Center, where we can now produce the mass of any kind of plant, including sakura. So I'd like to thank the team of Annapurna Research Center. Please stand up. Uh, these people produce these plants in mass. So this is a great effort, and these are the clones of the same sakura that is uh, brought from Yamazaki Prefecture, Japan. So let's uh, make uh, this sakura case of sir al already mentioned. It has got a beautiful culture of um, respecting flower. Uh, not only that, it has got a multiple purpose as a medicinal plant, as a, as a beauty product producing plant, and so on. So our Lalitpur uh, someday will be beautified by blooming sakura. And I request Mayor Saab to organize picnic under the sakura tree and let's celebrate again sakura blooming. I'm here to deliver a word of thanks. Uh, I wish I could speak in Japanese, but uh, there are so many other people who could not speak Japanese so that I'm uh, using English here. Uh, please uh, pardon me for this uh, international language while delivering this sort of word of thanks. Well, uh, taking this opportunity, I would like to express our sincere thanks to Mayor Sri Babu Maharajan who outstandingly uh, expressed his commitment the other day in our 50 years Golden Jubilee ceremony as well. He is ready uh, to provide uh, space for even thousand sakura plants. However, we do have a limitation to, pro to, to offer those number of sakura plants right at the moment. So we'll try our level best to, from now on, uh, every year or our season best, we are trying to, we'll try our level best to provide more like, you know, sakura plants in this city so that uh, we will be anticipating to have a hanami sakura uh, picnic under the sakura tea until we'll be getting older. 
hopefully until our old age, the Sakura will be bloomed in the bank of Bagmati River, and Bagmati River will be like a Kamogawa of Kyoto. So many of us have seen Kamogawa of Kyoto. Many of our Kyoto friends used to say that Kamogawa, Kamo River of Kyoto City, was like a Bagmati of this today in 70s, and after their hard work. Kamogawa has turned a very clean river. If you go to the Kyoto city now, you can see a very colorful fishes swimming in the Kamogawa. And people are closely watching and have fun under the tree of Sakura at the bank of Kamogawa of Kyoto city. So we wish we could have similar Kamogawa back to Bagmati. I, I heard that Bagmati was also was like Kamogawa in 70s and 60s when Shiri Babu Marzan was in his childhood. So so that we are anticipating those like kind of reflection of Kamogawa and Bagmati's of 70s back in next couple of years with the trees of Sakura Bluesum in the bank of Bagmati River. So let's work together for this once again. We on behalf of Juan would like to express our sincere thanks to uh, Mayor Sri Babu Marjanji and out of his uh, weekend busy or spare time Ambassador uh, Excellency Kikuta valued presence this morning also encouraged us to work together in the days to come too. And every senior members of Juan, those who have worked hard for a long while to bring Juan in this present form, I on behalf of Executive Committee, current Executive Committee once again would like to express sincere thanks to gratefulness to every senior Juan members and all Juan colleagues and also uh, Lalitput Metropolitan Officers and Honorable Research Center. So everyone, those who are engaged, involved, associated with this endeavor, would like to express our sincere thanks to you all. Now having said this, Juan Japanese University Alumni Association is a soft power of Japan. And being a student of diplomacy, what I would like to say is that both Juan and Sakura are the soft power of Japan. These are the diplomatic tools of Japan. However, we are Nepali citizen. We, we, we could have chance to study in Japan for a long while. And we are working for better relations between our, these two countries.